Howdy all, I'm Adam the Renaissance Nerd. Doctor Who, we have been at war trying to save the things we love in pop culture for many years now. And most of the time, more often than not, I am fighting to collect, protect, and preserve the original versions, the proper versions of all the things we love from Star Wars to Star Trek. It, there, there is still hope in some cases because the actual content is still there. There are dividing lines. You can say this is where the crap version broke off and this is where it was still good and they are literally separate things. You can do it with Star Wars, you can do it with Star Trek and a few other things. But Doctor Who, Doctor Who is lost and I hate to say it, I hate to give it up, but RIP Doctor Who. I've been saying it for a while, you've seen me cover the latest Doctor Who stuff with Shudi Gatwa, who is Shudi Gatwa. And bottom line is, there is no saving it. And there's no saving it because there's no real dividing line where you can say it stops here, you can keep it there. You can go back and celebrate real Doctor Who and enjoy it and just stop, but you can't save it because of what they've done to it. Chris Chibnall destroyed the lore with Timeless Children. Russell T. Davies was the only man Really, you could say Moffat as well, but Moffat's bought into this current bullshit, so he doesn't count anymore either. But Russell T. Davies, the man who re-energized the entire franchise in 2005, he was the only person capable of legitimately saying, okay, let's take this back, let's turn it back to the way it should be. But no, no. He lost his goddamn mind and has decided to quadruple, quintuple down on the wokeness started by Chris Chibnall. That's why with Shooty Gotwa's tenure about to begin, we're not here to celebrate. We're not here to save. We're simply here to roast. And yesterday, we've gotten an even more accurate taste of how far, how far this has fallen. Big, big old fluff piece from Entertainment Weekly dropped. We're not going to even dip into this whole thing. Look at this. This thing is massive. It is a massive, horrible fluff piece, and it doesn't even really talk about anything. It just celebrates Shuri Gawa, and it does this, and it does that. But there are some quotes in it, one in particular that I am going to focus on, most notably here. From Shuri Gawa, talking about what he wants to do, what, how he thinks Doctor Who should behave. That's what I'm going to put into the universe. I need the Doctor to have a big, fierce dance routine that, like, destroys a monster with twerking. Or maybe some death drops. And that's what will drop the monster. That is current day Doctor Who, where they think twerking is something interesting that has to be worked into the doctor saving the day I'm just let that sink in for a second twerking dance routines being flamboyantly gay here are some of the collected pictures from this photo shoot oh now I confirmed he is wearing a kilt it's not a skirt I wanted to make fun of him for wearing a skirt but no it's a kilt although I believe he's wearing it wrong uh, but that's great. This is just what I want to see. My doctor splayed out sexually on a clock. And these are just him in more gay outfits. Yeah, yes, I am so interested in this now. But we'll go back to this. So this is what we hear. This is where we are. This is Doctor Who for the current day Gen Z. Aren't you ready for your TikTok Doctor Who to do dance routines? And drop a twerk that will fell him on. What, you're going to twerk and thrust your shit in his face? Is that, where, is that where we are? Well, apparently so. This is done. It's over. There is no saving it. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Because you know why? I'm not here to try and save it. I'm here to dump all over it. I'm here out of spite at this point. Because I admit, we lost this one. It's over. But I'm not going to go quietly into that good night. I'm going to rain on the parade of these weirdos who claim to be Doctor Who fans, but in fact are tourists and fake fans who are only here to celebrate the agenda-winning one. 
I'm going to do everything I can to make their victory lap miserable. And I will do that in May when this drops. May 15th, myself and Dermy Wormy, we will be co-reviewing, live streaming this every Saturday, starting with the premiere. We will live stream the hell out of this, and we are going to just rip it apart because that's what it deserves. We are here. To, I'm going to say we're here to grift on the hate, guys. We are here to happily grift on the hate because that's all that is left, our misery. And we are going to share our misery, share our disgust of what this has turned into. Shooty Gatwa is Shooty Gatwa, ready to have gay man adventures through time and space, destroying the lore destroying the feeling this is not doctor who twerking to stop a monster if that's what you want to see he doesn't understand doctor who he never will understand doctor who and he doesn't care to understand doctor who because the doctor uses his brain to solve things not his pelvis all right, I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated. If you're new here, I invite you to subscribe to this channel. Check it out. I'm here to earn your trust and support using facts and logic because facts and logic do not care about whiny stand fake fan and SJW Fifi's. Thank you again for watching this video. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Check out my gaming channel at Renaissance Nerd Arcade and follow me on X Twitter under at the Red Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.